about to go on our uh, Game of Thrones leg of the journey. Uh, went out to the Harper Bar, I believe it's called. Might have had a few too many, uh, so getting a little bit of a struggling start today. Uh, but we're going to try to hit the, the Giant's Causeway, the Parika Reed Rope Bridge, and the, the Dark Hedges. Situate myself there for a second. I uh, realized that I forgot my waterproof jacket in the hostel. I'm not going back to get it. My shoes are still soaked. My friend Maria and I decided that we were going to just walk around the city after the bars closed. And it started raining. And of course, nothing I have is waterproof. Or I didn't bring my waterproof jacket with me. So then all of my clothes were soaked. Maria actually works at the hostel, so she was kind enough to uh, put my stuff in the dryer, but I forgot about my shoes. So I'm trying to dry them off using the car, like foot vents here, but uh, I, don't, I don't think that 15 minutes is gonna do it. Um, so I'm gonna scarf down some soda bread real quick, and then we'll be on our way to our first stop, which I think is the Dunluce Castle. I think that's how you say it. But anyway, that's the Greyjoy Castle in Game of Thrones. And all, most of these places, I think most or all of these places we're going to today were in Game of Thrones. Um, so I'm pretty excited about that. So, yeah, let's get going. So, the Loose Castle was the Greyjoy Castle in Game of Thrones. And I think it's this bridge here. Where Balon gets pushed off by Euron. All right, that was Dunluce Castle. Um, I'm pretty sure that the part of the castle that was in Game of Thrones was the bridge. They didn't really have anything in the, the tour or the guide that said specifically what part of it was in uh, Game of Thrones, but still, all in all, awesome castle. Really, really cool. Um, surprisingly intact. And uh, yeah, so now it's on to the Giant's Causeway, which I got a pro tip that Normally it's 12 pounds to get in, and there's a way to get around that. So we're gonna see if it works. Oh, really? he, turns, he turns his other fist into a hammer and swings both hands down on the ground and cracks the earth. All right, so I just drove around the Giant's Causeway, and it was too crazy right now. Like there were, there were so many people. And some of the side parking lots that um, I was reading about online where you can park and not pay and just walk in, um, were either full or they were actually charging money. So I drove away uh, to regroup and get a coffee and maybe pizza, it looks like. There might be pizza at this place, in which case I'm getting some pizza. Um, but then I'm going to go to the Carrick... What the hell is the name of this place? Do the Carrick Reed Rope Bridge first and then back to the Giant's Causeway afterwards and then probably the dark hedges closer towards like 7 or 8 p.m. Because I've had multiple people tell me that it's best to go later. Oof. It's best to go later in the day um, because then not all the tour buses will be there. Um, not as many people will be there in general just because it's the end of the day. 
Uh, and plus, that's the best time for me to shoot anyway, for like my photography style. So, I don't know, we'll see. Today's gonna be a lot of maybes. <laughs> Coffee breaks are literally one of my most favorite things. It signifies a break in whatever I'm doing to like relax and regroup. That was a really good coffee. They didn't have any pizza, so I just had like some barbecue sandwich or whatever. It's the first like actual good hot meal I've had in a while. I've really just been eating stuff that I bought from the grocery store that I just keep in the car. Um, so it was nice to actually have a, a good cooked meal. I might just sit in the car and read Reddit for a little bit before moving on to the next spot. I'm kind of trying to kill time, so it's later on in the day when I go to the dark hedges. Um, so yeah, we'll see. <laughs> you see, he's just shaking with fury uh, <laughs> at the end of his turn, because his turn is next. He tries they to get out. Maybe explain uh, to him. Okay, so the next Karika Reed rope bridge crossing is at 5.30. That's two hours from now. So now we're driving back to the Giants Causeway to see if it's a little more empty. So we can do that and then go back to the rope bridge at 5.30 to do that and then go to the dark hedges and I'm gonna be so tired of driving the same route after like three times of going back and forth already. Okay, I don't know if I'm supposed to be parked here or not just because it said for staff and deliveries only but uh, one of the gates were open so I just drove in and parked and nobody said anything yet I'm just buying my tickets for Karika Reed real quick, and then I'm going to hike my ass on out of here and get to the Giants Causeway. Okay, so, left the car, walking along this trail. I have about an hour and a half, an hour and 45 minutes um, to do this, see it, take some photos, and then uh, get back to the car so I can make it to the the rope bridge in time. I booked the last time to cross the bridge at 6.30, I think. And it goes from 6.30 to 7.30, which will be the perfect time then to go to the dark hedges. And then I can ideally take some pictures there without there being a ton of tourists in it. But now, we've got this, uh, this pretty dope view. And look at all those people who paid for their parking like a bunch of chumps. Look at them. That's a lot of people. <laughs> Made it. And there are quite a few people here. So trying to get good photos here has been pretty difficult uh, just because there's so many people and trying to time it so your photos don't have anybody just randomly walking through especially when you're doing like the the remote selfie where you have to put on a timer and then run and pose and you don't know if somebody like popped up behind you it's a little difficult but this place is super awesome It's, it's pretty freaking cool, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I did have a scare with my memory card where I had someone take a photo of me, and then when I went to look at the photo, it said uh, read error, which normally means that the, uh, the memory card's corrupted. So I had to actually format the whole card and then essentially lose all the photos I took today, which kind of sucks. Um, but actually all the photos from the trip but luckily I've been uploading them pretty much daily so I haven't lost much I lost some of the footage uh, that I filmed with this but I didn't really film much with the Fuji anyway it was mostly with this um, but yeah so that was a close one but overall still pretty awesome I have about an hour left uh, before I have to go to the rope bridge 
and I'm just going to enjoy my time here because this is pretty cool. All right, this is the moment of truth, or the moments leading up to the moment of truth. Uh, we'll see if anything happened to the car. Ideally not. But, so the Giant's Causeway was really cool, super photogenic. Um, only thing that sucks is it's the same thing with the clips of Mohair. Mohair, Mohair, I, st I still can't pronounce it. Pretty sure it's Mohair. Yeah, Mohair. Um, there were just so many people, like so many people. And it was nearly impossible to get a shot without somebody in the background. Although, I did. I, I loved it. I think I would have loved it even more if I was able to go really early, which there's no way I could ever wake up for that. <laughs> or if I could just make everybody else who's there invisible. Either way, super cool. Just wish there weren't that many people. So now it's time for the rope bridge. We're about like half an hour early to our, I guess, appointment with crossing the rope bridge. Um, so I don't really know what I'm gonna do. I guess I'm just gonna hang out by the bridge itself. Just go from there, but I guess it's gorgeous. Go town. So that wasn't so bad. I think you're about a hundred feet over the water, but the the bridge seems really secure. So like you don't ever really get the heebie-jeebies walking over it. So right now I'm just wandering around the actual island so I can see what stuff looks like. Like this, for instance. Why is my first instinct to always find something like a cliff and go sit and dangle my legs off the edge of it? Though all of this is just so serene and perfect. Like I want to go in those caves. I wonder if they let you like kayak in there or something. Anyway. I'm uh, about to go back to the car, I think, because it's about time to go to the dark hedges and check out what that's all about. And then uh, probably go back into town, have a few beers again, be hungover for checkout, and you know, the standard procedure in Ireland so far. It's totally up to you. You are my house guest, but I honestly have to leave here at all. All right, we just parked in the dark hedges parking lot. It looks pretty empty. This might be good. This might be good. There might not be that many people. What? There's already a ton of people here.
Okay, so thoughts on the dark hedges. Um, I didn't have the right photo equipment to take the picture that I have stopped. I didn't have the right photo equipment to take the picture that I had in my head. I still think the photos probably came out okay, um, but it's not going to do it justice the way I think I could have if I had my full kit with me. Um, also, even though there weren't that many people, there were probably like 20, 25, um, it was still enough to kind of get in the way. Uh, we started the group I kind of just like mashed myself into uh, and assimilated into. Uh, we kind of formed a blockade of sorts and then essentially people would take turns walking out to get their picture or would take turns actually taking the picture. And then two Portuguese guys who were also photographers showed up and they had all their their kit with them and I was so jealous just because you know they had all their zoom lenses and they had like their Canon 5D Mark IVs you know and I'm I'm going around with my my little Fuji which is a great camera um, but you know I didn't have like a zoom lens didn't have anything like that so um, they helped me out and actually took the picture for me the picture of me for me I didn't have to train any tourists on what to do the, the guy Michael said it the best he said, when I travel with friends who aren't photographers, I just, they're just my tripod. I set everything up, I hold it exactly at the level I need to, I tell them to just click the shutter, and then somehow they'll still mess it up. So, you know, and then we kind of joked a little bit about how, you know, you have to get really good at, you know, the self-timer and then posing yourself and going back and forth. Um, but yeah, so it's actually really nice to talk to a couple of photographers. I would definitely say, uh, check out the dark hedges for sure um, but try to go late in the day like it's 8 30 right now and there were still you know 20 to 30 people there uh, so definitely go late in the day or go really really early and going really really early is not really an option for me because I don't wake up early uh, I just hate it and it puts me in a bad mood all day um, so yeah definitely check it out I don't think the footage on here did it any justice really this that was a pretty full day of adventuring and hitting all of the Game of Thrones spots in Northern Ireland my trip to Ireland is coming to a close and it's moving on to the next chapter in the next country I don't know how many videos I'm going to do from Ireland but uh, I will probably have a couple and uh, I guess I'll see you guys in the next video then peace I spoke too soon. I just looked at the photos that the photographers took and uh, I couldn't see it on the camera. I started zooming in a little bit because I, I had a suspicion, but then the guy's like, no, 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 it's in focus, it's in focus. So I was like, okay, fine. Like in my head, I'm thinking you're a photographer, you know what you're doing. And then I just checked it on my phone <laughs> and uh, he took like 10 photos and every single one, I'm out of focus. I get that the trees and the road is supposed to be the the focal point too, but you know, it's like change the aperture so I'm in focus too, or that, uh, I, I, like I can't, I don't think I can use any of them. Brrr.